been requesting that I play this game. And, you know, the No Man's Sky video that I made a while ago is one of my most popular videos on the channel, still. Uh, which is insane to me. It's kind of wild that I haven't made a, uh, an update to that. I think I probably uninstalled the game after I made that video. <laughs> Just to sort of, like, checklist it off and clear up space for other games. But, we are back, and I have been grinding a little bit so that I can start checklisting some things off for this video. I don't know what I am going to do, like 100%, but I have a fair idea. One of those ideas was to get a new starship. However, starships are extremely expensive, like really, really expensive. So I will see if I can put myself in a position to grind my way to a better starship. I, I, I'm aiming for like a A class or an S class. I mean, a B class is still an, an improvement, but I think I want to say for like an A class. So that is what we are aiming for ultimately. But let's just start going through the checklist real quick. I am going to hop into space because my freighter is right out here and around 24 hours ago I sent my freighter or my, my fleet on an expedition. So uh, I am going to debrief my commander. Just going to enter right there. Beautiful. Yeah, I haven't done much with my freighter either. Haven't customized it, haven't upgraded it. It's called the Spoon 3. I don't know why, but it's called the Spoon 3. Or just Spoon 3. So I know that I gotta walk here and debrief. I go this way, I'm pretty sure. And then right in here. Yeah. Okay. Fleet Command Online. Calibrating to Fleet Commander Umont of the MS, the Mirror of Jeopardy. Debrief. Covered 3,598 light years. Not very difficult at all. Log entry 275, industrial cleanup crew deployed to crashed freighter site on planet Finaldian, Sigma. Few salvageable materials, crew decommissioned freighter weapon systems for local authorities, hull left in place as wildlife habitat. 568, responded to emergency broadcast from planet Odawa 96P5, pirates placed tectonic destabilizer, oh, it's gone. Anyway, I got 300,000 units from that. Uh, collected cave minerals from planet Dice 5. Got some pyrite grease. Uh, arrived in Yinkarji sector. Uh, devoid of interesting life. Got enriched carbon. Three of them. Hailed by Corvax Trader. Got 367,000 units. Deployed drones to scan planet Kivales. Kivales. Uh, got bromide salt. Arrived in Kostrim sector. Dirty bronze. Uh, detected a large mineral deposit while exploring planet date 867. Uh, S7. I can't go back. Anyway, we got antimatter. Uh, nothing happened here. We got 274 activated copper. Uh, insignificant trade activity offered chance to invest in innovative dis desalination plant. Business was a scam. Substantial losses. That sucks. Arrived in Corvax controlled space, docked at space station, got three superconductors, and then returned home. Amazing. Let's end that and get about... Was that over? 
over a million credits. Because that'd be great if it was. I'm kind of waiting for, oh, let's see how much we got. 728,000. That's not bad. It's not terrible. Uh, in that case, I am going to send my fleet on another expedition. Let's view the potential ones. See, I don't know if I want to do a combat patrol, because I feel like that's more... Well, it definitely is more dangerous. But also, I am definitely going to need uh, more ships, which means more fuel that I need to make. Let's see. Difficulty rating of 2. If I assign my two combat dudes... What are we at? Oh, fleet rating of 3. That actually might not be bad. I think I'll just bring those combat boys up there. And that should be good. Uh, I guess I have the required fuel for the expedition. I don't have any upgrade modules, which is fine. But, uh, alright, let's send them. That'll be in five hours. So, if I am still making this video in five hours, which I probably will be, then I will debrief them this episode. What is going on here? Did I put that there? If I did, that's very funny, because it's blocking me from getting in there. Alright, well, oh, uh, in the last video, I did not have a an Atlas Pass at all, and I finally made the uh, V2 Atlas Pass, so now I can go into this area, as well as many other areas, and I can now search other stuff. So I just needed a level 1 Atlas Pass for that. What is this? Nothing. And that's it. Yeah, I, I also wanted to go over all of the, um, the upgrades I've done to myself since uh, the last video. Because that was a year ago. And that was basically where I was at like many years ago. Anyway, let's hop back in the rocket and head right on out. So, before we head to the Nexus, because I think I want to go to the Nexus next, uh, I want to show off, like right before we, uh, we started the video, I upgraded my dab pen. I thought that name was hilarious when I first made it. Uh, I fitted it with a... Uh, where is it? Oh, this one. A memory visualizer. It is a S-tier upgrade to the scanner. Uh, I did a little bit of research on Reddit, as you do, uh, to see uh, the best ways of making money, and one of them was to get one of these upgrades and uh, just scan a bunch of stuff, because what is going on out here? Oh, I think people are teleporting in. They're friendly, right? Uh, I'm going to assume that these guys are friendly, but um, yeah. I think I'm actually going to move my projectile uh, web and actually, wait, I thought that was supercharged. Do I have any? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a supercharged slot right here. So it goes from 6,596% uh, 6 to 8,000. Yeah, that's, that's pretty insane. So now when we scan stuff, instead of like 15,000 or like 50,000 per like rock that we scan, instead we're going to get a like a lot more, which I am I'm actually pretty hyped for because that is a lot of money. 
Anyway, let's pop in the space anomaly right here. And I feel like we should do a couple missions from the Nexus. I think I think I want to do that because I spent all of my nanites uh, on getting that one upgrade. I mean, it was like 600. I don't have a lot of nanites, but still. Okay. And yeah, whenever I pop in here, I see all of the same exact ships as mine. And then I see some really interesting ones. And I really, I really want a cool looking one. I'm tired of seeing my boring ass beginner starship. Hello, dude. How are you? He's out of here. Uh, okay. So, in order to get out there, I feel like doing missions uh, is great because we can go on a mission to a random planet and also get a bunch of scans off, which will give us a ton of money. So, let's take a look. I'm aiming, oh wow, okay. I was just about to say, I was aiming to get uh, nanites, to get a mission that had nanites, but um, nope, doesn't look like <laughs> we can do that right now. Uh, I think we can go with either nothing <laughs> or you know what let's kill 55 monstrosities why not because salvage data is also really expensive so that'll be a nice little addition okay let's get this mission started I'm gonna run to my ship hopefully this doesn't take long and my bolt caster isn't like it's not bad I'm sure there's much better, but yeah, this is my, wait, okay, my bolt caster is the, uh, the weapon attachment, this is an upgrade to that, so let's move that back here, uh oh, if you put them next to each other, I see, I see how it works, so if I put that, uh, what happens if I put this here? I think that helps that. And then I'll put that, whoops, put this right there, and they're all connected now. I guess that makes sense. Oh, and I have another bolt caster upgrade. Then I'll put that right there. Hopefully that, uh, that works, that works great. Who knows? Also, I understand that uh, these are multiplayer missions, but I never, ever, ever get people uh, joining a mission. <laughs> so we're just going to do this ourselves. Uh, where is the mission marker? Oh, is it on my planet? Damn, I guess it is. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I named the planet MSASMRGC for, for lack of better names, basically. Okay, and we have arrived. Fortunately, it's not like super hazardous or anything. Let's just go ahead and land right here. And this is a planet where I have an exocraft, which I have just now started experimenting with. I'm actually going to summon, never mind, uh, maybe I got rid of, oh yeah, no, I definitely got rid of the, uh, the Exocraft station, that sucks, anyway, uh, have I discovered this yet, a knowledge stone, learn the Viking word for in, amazing, uh, where do I go from here? Oh, I just gotta equip my scanner. Well, this didn't take me to, like, a new planet or anything, which kind of sucks, because I was looking to see how much, uh, money I got from scanning, but that 
that's fine. We'll figure it out later how much we actually get. I mean, plus, it would be very boring to just have a video of me just scanning stuff. Anyway, it's, uh, we've got a storm going on right now. However, because it's, like, super heated, uh, our jetpack is very, very efficient. Uh, finalizing signal. Okay, this is where I need to be. Infestation site reached. I have to kill nine monstrosities. I assume there's much more. Not just that. Are they inside here? Or are they outside? Uh, <laughs> just shooting random things. Let's get rid of this goop so that we can access this. Let's see. User identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data. Log for analysis. Where are the sentinels? They appear on countless worlds without summons or warning. They traverse the galaxy unopposed and enforce their will upon every sentient being they encounter. Who made them? Who gave them the... What? What are we, what are we doing here? I'll just... I'll just analyze the data log. Uh, something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. Dope. Got 131 nanites from that. That's really good, actually. Uh, I think... Okay. Yeah, I just gotta take out these eggs. And then these guys appear. And I think I can cheese them a little bit by staying up here and just shooting at them. So, this is, this is gonna take a while. I, uh, kind of feared this because... This mission is actually kind of fucking boring, unfortunately. Uh, but I got nine of them, and now they're gone. So, further infestation detected. Coordinates available. Uh, where do you want me to go? Uh, investigate the abandoned building terminal. This one. Oh, okay. I guess I'll do this again. Uh, secondary infestation site detected. Download coordinates. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Secondary infestation located. I'm gonna see. Ouch. That hurt. Uh, oh. Ow. I don't wanna die. I think I got shocked a couple times. Anyway, I have to go 12 minutes walking that way. So instead, I am just going to summon my... my rocket again gonna take that thing out. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna take a minute, because I have to kill 55 of these, uh, these monsters, so <laughs> I'll probably do this next site, and then I will just do the rest of it off camera, because it's a little boring, and I've already been on this planet before. Uh, let's see. Let's just drop right here. Hopefully we can get nanites from this, uh, this, this building as well. That'd be nice. Alright, let's get the eggs popping. Let's see if I can take them out before... Oh, I need to kill 18 of them now. I mean, my bolt caster is pretty good right now. Though, I totally forgot how to make more ammo. Definitely gonna have to, uh, figure out how that works. Who is that? Why is there a... Why is there a ship there? That landed, like, right over there. Is that a real person? Wait, are they... Are they on the mission with me? Shit, they might be. Oh, excuse you, ouchie. Who are you? Are you a dude? Oh, they're gone. They left. They left me. They left me to fend for myself. Alright. Okay, the swarm is subsiding, even though we got 14 out of 18 here. Is that thing gonna chase me? Let's just be safe. Okay. I guess I'll hop inside to see if I can get any nanites. 
before I start activating more eggs. Let's see. Uh, I can search you now. Got navigation data. Let's see. Let's take that goop out. Let's take that goop out. Alright, what do we got? Dope. Alright, let's get through the rest of this. I ain't reading all of that. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Dope. Is it more nanites? Oh my god, that's perfect. Why don't I just do this for nanites? I don't know. Let's see if I can take out a bunch of these real quick. Uh, I think one more and that does it for this area. Okay, yeah. Now I just gotta get the next area. Let's see if I can craft more bullets as well. How do I craft them? I mean, it looks like I can. Oh wow, I crafted a, a, a shit ton just now. Alright, let's download the next coordinates. And, uh, like I said before, I'm gonna cut the video real quick and finish off uh, this mission. Okay, I think we might have hit the end. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. That didn't take too long. Took a while, but we're good now. So, I think I just need to get to my ship and go back. Right? Uh... Let's see. It'll probably give me an update. Unless I have to go to... Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I just have to get back to the Nexus. That is fine. Uh, not enough fuel in the launch thruster. That's wonderful. Let's put a little bit of uranium in there. I'm actually going to run out of uranium pretty soon. Uh, if I didn't already. So, either I'm going to have to get some of that, or... Uh, you can make... What is it called? Starship launch fuel. Oh yeah, you just need dihydrogen and metal plating. I've got plenty for metal plating, so we're good. Uh, let's bring the Nexus back over here and turn in that mission. Go ahead and catch me. Beautiful. Okay, fantastic. You know, I was a little bummed that we didn't find a mission that gave straight up nanites as a reward, but we did get some nanites, and I think that might be enough for what I want to get in a moment once we're done with this. Let's just go ahead and turn this in real quick. Beautiful. Let's see what missions you have now. Okay, you've got one for nanites, but you have to kill monstrosities, which, no thanks, not again. Uh, I'm just going to run up this way. This is the guy that you can give uh, Quicksilver to, and I think Quicksilver is only used for, like, cosmetic based things. Uh, hello Helios. Can I give you anything? Any data for some nanites? No. Sorry, I do not care about your past right now. Anyway, it actually took me a while to realize that all of these guys back here uh, give you, like, upgrades to certain things. So this guy is Exocraft Research. This guy is Multi-Tool Research. But we are looking for, not exosuit, we're looking for starship research. Hyperion. I am looking for a economy scanner. Uh, so I need to spend 150 nanites on the teleport receiver. That's kind of cool, I suppose. I don't think I really need that, though. What does it do? 
a device that modulates standard starship communication signals to enable the transport of matter as well as data. I guess that's not bad. But we are looking for the economy scanner. We just need a few more microprocessors in order to install it. So how do we... What does it take to craft one? Oh, I need carbon nanotubes and chromatic metal. Well, I already know that I do not have enough chromatic metal to make the amount that I want. So I might have to go back home and uh, refine some cadmium. But otherwise, we just need carbon nanotubes. What do we need for that? Oh, we just need carbon. That's, that's cool. Let's build like 10 of them. Then I'm also running out of space in my inventory. It's kind of embarrassing. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and use this teleporter to go back home. And then I'll just use my refiner to make a bunch of chromatic metal. I also kind of want to take a look at these community uh, highlight things. I think they're pretty interesting, but I don't know. Maybe at the end of the video or as I'm waiting, we can just take a look. Maybe. Uh, let's go to new base. Excuse me. Let's go to new base. Just had a hiccup mid-sentence. We are looking for, oh yeah, my refiner. Do I only have a portable refiner? Do I have anything else? Uh, looks like, yeah, I only have access to a portable one, which is fine. That's not really a problem. I just need to know, <laughs> I need to find it. Uh, it's been a while since I've used this area. Is it? potentially in here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Beautiful. Let's put some fuel in. I guess we could just put regular carbon in there. 100%. And now we just put a bunch of... Where is it? Cadmium. Um, let's do a quick split and then do another quick split. This will make 183 uh, chromatic metal, and it's going to take 50 seconds. So is there anything that I can do in those 50 seconds? I don't think so, honestly. But yeah, actually, I could try installing the teleport receiver, because why not? Even though I plan on getting a, an entirely new rocket, all right, we've got the teleport receiver. It's not it's not bad at all. Just three wiring looms and antimatter. Bam, bam. This might give us access to a bunch of more stuff, so I can't really say nothing there. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I also got a cadmium drive, which allows me to go to red uh, solar planets, or... Er, solar systems. I don't really know exactly what the benefit is other than uh, you can get cadmium, which I do have a lot of now. Anyway, we've got, I think, enough chromatic metal. All right, so let's make one, two, three more, right? Uh, right? Let's see. Yeah. Dope. Wiring loom and five microprocessors going in. And now we've got an economy scanner. So now, if we go back to the ship, if I go ahead and hop in, and let's just let's just go out into space real quick. I want to see how this works. Alright. So if I access this and then go here, I can
can scan for a trade outpost, but I also have to find a uh, like a system with good uh, economy. So this is a two-star economy. But if I want uh, a good ship, I need a three-star, like this one, and bake cab. Uh, okay, it looks pretty good. It says economy is mathematical. I have no idea what that means. This one is metal processing. That's weird. All right, let's go to, let's go to M Bake Cab. I'm sure it won't take much to warp to there. I think uh, warp drive fuel doesn't take a whole lot of resources, I don't think. All right, nearby freighter under attack, huh? Not a problem. Let's go ahead and lock onto you and hit you with some rockets. And then you stick your shield out. Another rocket. Beautiful. What else? Is there more stuff? More people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and they're behind me as well. Right, these are bad guys. Yeah. Let's take them out. Uh. There's a lot of enemies, and it it keeps thinking that I want to lock onto that one, but I don't, but I will then, because I can't lock onto the other guys. I have to take out seven of these. Oh, I am hitting the freighter. That's no good. Okay, how about now? Jesus, they keep hiding behind the freighter. That's not cool. What about now? What the hell? <laughs> this is not cool, bro. Or is it? Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Finally got a lock on his ass. Let's send some rockets at you. I'm glad we were able to get some space combat in the video. Doesn't really happen a whole lot. Uh, let's put some sodium on our shield real quick. But anyway, yeah, only five left. Why are you able to go inside the shield? That doesn't make sense. Not to me. Come on. There we go. And now you... We just got four more to take care of. That should be easy, should be fine. All right, next. Of course, they're all the way out there. Come on, whoa. Thank God for this auto lock feature. Let me get outside of the freighter shield. Beautiful. Okay, there he goes. There he is. We've got two left. Oh, I missed. I missed with the, uh, the rocket. I can't believe that. Okay, you're done. And now, it's just you left. Perfect. Jesus, man. No, oh, is there another one? No. Civilian fleet saved from pirates. Uh, in incoming message. Let's take a look. Hello, Captain Hale. Me news a life form had sailed. Veshke. Hey, Gorno. Uh, please dock for, oh, something aid. Alright, well, sure. Why not? Uh, land in the freighter and speak to the captain. Your assistance will be rewarded. Okay, I just gotta figure out where the entrance is. Might be on this side. Let's see. Uh, I am now a legend because I've destroyed 80 starships. 
Okay, I don't know where the opening to this is. Oh, it's on the bottom, but it's not really the bottom. I'm just faced. I'm just, I just gotta rotate. There we go. I see it now. Uh, let's just reorient ourselves. And, okay, beautiful. Alright, the DS9 Bokuchi. <laughs> Super sick name. Uh, there we go, up this way. But yeah, after this, I'm gonna uh, scan for any trading posts and then probably uh, see how much it takes to buy like a good ship because you have to go to the higher economy areas and go to the right trading posts to find the right ships. Anyway, Commander Semi, how you doing, buddy? Without something of Traveler Corbax gives something amazing. Uh, wait a minute. He, he wants me to take the freighter. Oh, I mean, you know what? Why not inspect the freighter? It's a C-Class. Uh, actually, I think I'm good. I think I am. I think I'll just take some money, if that's all right, buddy. Uh, request payment instead. How much? How much we got? 235 nanites. Uh, 371 gold. Is that it? And a little bit of uh, clout. That's fine. Got some gold out of that. That's not terrible. I also found a planet that has uh, a ton of gold and silver deposits. And silver, to my knowledge, is only good for selling. And gold, of course, is good for selling, but it's also uh, a building material. So... Let's go ahead and land here, and I might just buy like an exosuit uh, storage space, because we are in a new system entirely. Let's pop out real quick, and I think it's on this side, I might be wrong. I am, oh, I am not incorrect. Uh, you are Starship Research. Your exocraft. Wait, oh, this one. Let's go ahead and buy this. How much? 80,000. Oh my god, that's so good. That's perfect. Alright, we got another slot. Um, and now, yeah, I guess we're going to do a little bit of exploration, which is this game's strong suit. So, I'm pretty happy about that. And now that we are out, let's scan that planet. Copper, phosphorus, silver, and selenium. Let's get a scan for a trade outpost. Where is it at? Uh, it said trading outpost detected. It is over on that planet. Let's get a scan on that planet then. Uh, Hackus X. It's a no noxious planet. Uh, oh, I'm too close to the space station to get a, uh, a warp. Alright. Damn, is that actually going to take 30 seconds? I guess so. No, but I'm excited to see uh, how much money we get from discovering new things and scanning things. Even though scanning isn't... Oh. Object of interest detected. What is good? Trade frequency. What is up? Ew. Carapace. Emergency. Exchange. Corvax for something. They wish to trade, but they seem cautious. Eventually, they relax and prepare their manifest. Let's see. Uh. Okay. I don't think I want any of these. I can sell you stuff, though. Uh, the demand for gold is not that great. Uh, how do I... Oh. Let's just bring the gold all the way to the top. 149,000. Sure. We'll get rid of all of our gold to this guy. Uh, we'll also get rid of 
fetch data. Let's get rid of like 10. So let's half a mil. That's perfect. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Oh, he's gone. He just teleported out. That's fine. Alright, let's go to Hackus X for real this time. And let's see what we got at this trading post. I mean, the only reason we're going there is to camp out uh, a bunch of ships. But we'll see. Oh, are these melons? That's going to be annoying if it is. Let's get through the, uh, the clouds if we can. see. Whoa, whoa. I crashed into a melon. That is funny. Uh, station authority cargo scan. Great. Okay, it's all the way down here. In the middle of this, like, pit. Alright. Interesting. Now we can pop out. Just wait, I guess. We wait for ships to land here. Oh god, how hazardous is this area? Oh my god, it's very hazardous. But that might just be because there's there's a storm going on right now. Let's see if we could just wait for okay, I see ships coming down. I'll make my offer. Well I'll take a look at them now. Alright, first we're going to start with this one, see if it is anywhere near A or S class. Hello, Entity, really no-go. Uh, make an offer on a life forms starship. Okay, this is B class, that's not bad. Now, if I were to negotiate price, yeah, that's 21 million. God damn. Uh, okay, so my starship has 21, uh, like, in installment slots, I think, and then 15 cargo slots. This one has 34 cargo slots, but significantly less, uh, installation spots, so I don't think I really want this one. Not that interested. And the other guys left. Great. Well, anyway, I, I, I feel like... Well, number one, it's going to take forever for us to actually get enough money to buy a ship. So, I don't know. Let me see how the, uh, the scanning goes. Let's see. Oh, what is this? Let me see if I can make an offer on this guy's ship. See if I'm in the right place. Okay. Uh, make an offer. Oh, it is a Class C. Damn. Well, I'm gonna hop down here real quick. See if I can find anything to scan. And see how much uh, stuff I get from that. Like, you. How much money? 32000 for that rock. I think another 32,000. That's okay. It's not telling me how much money I'm getting, but that's okay. I just gotta keep scanning. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of the same rocks right now. Whatever, I'll just head back. Oh shit, can I even get up there with my jetpack? Ignore the, uh, the very loud car outside. Let's see if I can make it up there with my jetpack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Beautiful. But yeah, this is pretty much the strat that I learned, is that you go to these uh, high economy areas and then uh, go to trade posts. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Excuse me. What is his name? I don't know. This is a B-class. Let me see how good it is. Uh, 2645. Yeah, this is much better than what I have, but it's almost 70 million. I have a seventh of that. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. No, that, <laughs> that sucks. I don't think we're getting a ship, I'll be totally honest with you guys, and you know what, that's kind of 
I only have six uh, installation slots left and not a lot of cargo, but I, I don't need that right now. I kind of just need to progress through the game. What is this? Cargo bulkhead. Oh, looks like I can upgrade my, my freighter's capacity next time I'm there. But, um, yeah, no, I don't think we're getting a ship. I'll be totally honest with you guys. I think... I don't know. I At the beginning of the video, I, I, I really wanted to have a, a goal in mind. And I don't really want to do the, the story either, because I'm really, really not interested in the game's story. I'll be totally honest. Uh, how are these planets doing, though? Wait a minute, are these just moons? Uh, no. I think these are other planets. Let me go to this one all the way out here. Let's see if I can scan it. Uh, it's a hot planet. Looks like it has the same amount, the same kind of stuff as the last one, but hopefully it's not as uh, terrible. <laughs> it's called Neil, uh, Neil 8, I believe. And we're about to run out of uh, pulse engine fuel. Oh, that just takes tritium. That's fine. Just put a little bit of fuel in there as we're on our way. I guess we'll get a couple of scans off while we're here. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll do another mission uh, with the Nexus. There was an object of interest, but I, I personally am not interested. All right, entering atmosphere. So this is a hot planet, which I don't think it's going to be that awful. Let's get a landing down. Perfect. I guess I can also try showing off my uh, my hustle base. All right, let's get some some scans again. How much money did I get there? Thirty-two thousand, baby. That's what that's what we're all about. And you, what about you? 32,000. That is what's up. And these rocks right here. Perfect. I guess it's a good little side hustle. I totally thought it was going to be a lot more, I'll be honest. I thought it was going to be like hundreds of thousands, which, I mean, it's only like a little, little fraction of that. Not particularly awful. But yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, let's go to my, my hustle base. I named it Hustle because it's got the, the gold and silver there. I thought it would be a good, like, good way to earn money, but honestly, I don't think it is. <laughs> Let's go back into the atmosphere. Actually, we can also go to that nexus and see all the other uh, user-created bases. Totally forgot about that. What is going on out here? Why is everybody warping here? Very strange. Oh, are these uh, recruitable frigates? Uh, not really interested. I think I enjoy my, my own fleet. Thank you much. All right. Whoa, that was really quick. All right, let's pop out real quick. And I guess we'll take a look at the Nexus, see if there's any good missions. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, surveying a planet isn't bad, but I'm not really in it for the Quicksilver as of yet. Uh, eliminate Hazardous Flora. Not really interested in that. Heck, a Sentinel Pillar. Sounds cool. And we're not doing this one, obviously. I'll see. I'll see. But right now, I do want to take a look at the user-created uh, like worlds and, and structures that people have built. Because I honestly have no idea how, like, far you could take the, uh, the customization. So we're going to take a look real quick. And I really want to look at this one, but there's so many cool-looking ones out of the five that we've got right here. 
this one. The Blister Potions and Apothecary. This looks sick. I really hope it's nighttime when we go there. Because it looks very, very dope. But we'll see. Maybe we can get some scans off and make money on our own outside of the, uh, the structure. Alright, and it is daytime. That is unfortunate, but let's take a look-see. This is very pretty. Uh, this is where, this is the teleporter. That's wild. There is a lot of just tiny, tiny stuff. There's a battery down there. Interesting. And it's got a staircase going upward. Wow, wow. This is super sick. Uh, I didn't realize you could go this in depth, you know. You got a bed right here. Yeah, this is dope. I like this a lot. And I wonder if, like, there are people who have put, like, bases near, like, very rich spots. I mean, I didn't get much money from that, but I'm going to keep scanning stuff while I'm here. I guess this is my best way of... I don't know, scanning new planets. I'll just, I'll go to all these different user submitted planets and then scan everything that I can. I think that's a good idea. Uh, is there anything else that I may have missed? I don't see anything. I'm looking for like a rock or something. There's a knowledge stone right here, so maybe I'll just pop that. What is this? Deuterium rich plant. Thank you. And this rock. Thank you. Alright. Let's get the geck word for is. That's a pretty big word. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure animals are way, uh, give you way more money. How much? Shit. I can't tell. Are there any birds? Not that I can see. Oh, got it. Wow, he's really running. Oh, he's running from that. How much money do I get? Oh, that's huge. A hundred thousand. Now that, that is where it's at. All right, well, uh, let's use that teleporter to go back to the Nexus. I enjoyed this. This is a very neat cozy area. Let's go back. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to go straight back to the, uh, the Nexus. Oh, wait, we can't. Yeah, we can't. We gotta, we gotta use our ship to go back to the, the anomaly. So, let's put down our starship. What is that? Scoopatropolis. The hell is that? You know what? I am not going to look. <laughs> I'm not going to investigate. I'm just going to pop out here. And let's call in the uh, space anomaly again. And we'll go straight to another user submitted. Uh, base. All right, and we are back. Oh, got a nice little landing spot. You love to see it. Okay. I'm glad that we're sort of able to compensate for uh, the lack of objectives. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I definitely did want to, uh, cop a new 
ship, but they are just so expensive, and I, I, I do not, I'm not even that far into the story, I don't think, like, I have only got enough to start mining cadmium, which I believe is, like, the second mineral besides, like, copper that you can start mining for, I don't know, I don't really know, anyway, let's go to, uh, Eolfa, Alpha base. This definitely caught my eye. All right. Walkage beta. Very cool. Uh, where do I go? Oh, I go that way. Okay. Oh. It's daytime now. Great. Uh, let's get some scans off, maybe. Maybe all these birds. Yeah, 54,000, you would love to see it. Let's use the, uh, the steps as intended. I'm not going to use my jetpack, I'm just going to take it in. I'll walk up here, and I, I, I guess I'll go over here. Just got to do some terraforming here, I'll be honest. Let's recharge our life support real quick. I'm going to need more oxygen at some point. Interesting that he decided that whoever made this base, actually, you know, I was going to say interesting that they chose this planet, but, oh my god, I could get scans from all the way out here. That's crazy. But anyway, I, I do like how this is sort of in the middle of this giant lake. I think that's cool. Wow, this is amazing looking. Nice little weapon station right there. A uh, customization area, which, you know what? Let's do that. I think it's about time. Actually, no. If I if I go for a thumbnail with this with this character, I would want it to be the same throughout the video. But that's cool that they have like actual, uh, usable things at the, the base. I wonder where they get their power from. Wow, wow, is that, oh, I thought there was a bathtub. Holographic globe gadget, whoa. That's cool. I guess there wouldn't be bathtubs in this game. Since you're, like, in a spacesuit the whole time. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Whoa. I'm dying. Something is shooting me. And the, the, the door is blocked off. What the hell was that? I, I'm getting shot again. What is that? What, what is killing me, dude? Okay. I, I died and we get a Stephen Hawking quote. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell was that about, man? Uh, death by ship combat. Someone shooting me with their ship. <laughs> what the fuck? Am I getting trolled? And then we get an Albert Einstein. I, I think we're getting like trolled or, or griefed or something I is he just gonna shoot me again yeah okay well um I think that's a great great time to uh uh end the video uh yeah um I just wanna give another quick shout out to Jim Jump JT for uh, asking for uh, this video. Oh, look at that. I can loot my grave. Wait, did I lose everything? Oh my god, I lost everything. Hold on. Let me go get my stuff. Hopefully I can. Uh, and hopefully this guy still isn't trying to kill me. Oh yeah, he's right there. Wait, is this... I wonder if, like, this is... This guy is, like, base, and he just... He attracts people to come here just to kill them and loot their stuff. I would actually...
actually hate to lose all my stuff, man. That would really suck. But I, I, I think I did. I, I think I did lose all of it. Um, because I died multiple times. Yeah, that, that, that really sucks. Like, I had, I had a lot of stuff. Oh my god, yeah, dude, I, I had, like, a lot of stuff. That's... That's awful. Damn. Well, uh, I think it's safe to say that I will be uninstalling this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to say that I will be uninstalling after this. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think I want to come back from that. <laughs> so, I really hope, uh, Jim Job JT, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I appreciate your, uh, interest in something like this. I'm gonna hop down here so that he doesn't destroy more of my stuff. Um, <laughs> look at him, he's, he's looking for me. And there was someone down there. What the hell? Well, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and or, uh, found it relaxing. 